Hey Curious Kids, Kevin here. We've got Tatum with us here today. She's gonna help us do an experiment with balloons and fire. Let's get started. Yeah. Today we are going to be testing heat. Heat transfer. Heat transfer, yes! With fire and balloons. This was Kevin's idea. Great ideas. Woo! Seriously? Yours didn't work? <laughs> okay, balloons and fire, heat transfer. Right. You, have you ever heard that word heat transfer before? Once. What does it mean? Beautiful. Great. So, heat transfer, right? it's the transfer of heat between things. You know, if it's hot outside, the sun transfers through the atmosphere and makes us warm, right? So how you get like a tan, you get burned and stuff. So we're gonna do this with balloons. All right, so we got candles, we got balloons, and as always, safety glasses. Gotta be safe, because we're blowing stuff up. Right. Yes. Cool. The first thing we need to do is we need a balloon just filled with air that we've prepped off-site. I will grab that <laughs> balloon. Though you wanted to watch us blow a balloon up, it's here instead. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the balloon okay. over the candle. Okay. Oh, it's like again. creamy vanilla swirl. That sounds delicious. It smells like vanilla cupcakes. Oh, great one. It's like my favorite candle. Ooh, okay. okay. So it's a okay, nice yeah, candle. Yeah, that's a big flame. We got a beautiful GoPro here. Okay. So I'm just gonna... I'm oh, just gonna... we got some carcinogens or something. It's black flame. It's carcinogens, around. what a word. <laughs> All right. So we got the candle. Okay. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the balloon okay. over the candle. <laughs> Why do I feel like you're tricking me? Okay. No, not at all. Let's just get a little bit closer. All right. <laughs> so I knew that was gonna happen, right? <laughs> not <laughs> so what happened is we got the heat from the flame right touched the balloon and the air inside the balloon didn't have enough capability to absorb the heat so what happened is our balloon the latex started to absorb that heat and it right. broke the bonds of the latex and pop that's what happened so air just can't take the heat attack. but what do you think can take the heat water there we go water all right <laughs> It's a nice H2O. day outside. Oh, it's it actually felt kind of good. So hold it open a little bit. Let's okay. pour some water in there. Okay. Water, 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 water. H2O. Okay. Now you need to blow it up the rest of the way. With water in it? Yes. Nice. Do you need assistance? No, I got it. I got Superman it. Superman here to help you tie a balloon. Okay. Don't get too cocky there. Okay. So okay, we got some water in there. Just a little. Just a little. Yeah. All I right. think that's enough to not pop it. We're going to find out. So okay. We'll light this candle again. I don't know if I can handle that again. Beautiful. It's lit. A little bit more. So what we're gonna do now is okay. we got the balloon with water. Yeah. Lit up. Okay. Please don't pop, please don't pop. So we're gonna try this again. Please don't pop. Hold it over the top. Keep holding it. Okay. We're pretty close to it. Is it touching it yet? Yeah. It's wait. touching it? Oh, wait, Did it, it extinguish the candle? <gasps> yeah. It extinguished the candle. Okay, now hold what? on. Okay. Now we're gonna test something. Put both hands on the balloon. Okay. This might work. Now that's magic. <laughs> so what happened here is that we had the water absorbing the heat from the candle. So the water can take on that heat. And then since it touched it, it collapsed it, took out the flame, burned up all the oxygen, created a lower pressure, which sucks things in. So it sucked a little bit of the balloon in there. And that's why now you can just hold a candle that's on the bottom of the balloon. That's freaking amazing. I look like Houdini. <laughs> so let's, there we go, just a little pop. Balloon's perfectly fine. Now that's cool. Yeah. You know what I think? I think we should take it up a notch. Take it up a notch? What does that mean? Bigger balloon, bigger candle. I like where you're going. Let's we'll be it. right back. Bigger balloon. All right. More lung capacity. Blow it up. I can't. I quit. Next episode, you will be paying for this. I'm kind of scared of what ideas you might come up with. I mean, there's been three balloons that have exploded in front of her, two, two balloons. I've shot her with confetti sticks, sprinkled water. As I'm blowing, I'm thinking of payback, <laughs> just for you to know. Wrap it up. Holy That's a big Toledo. balloon. All right, take a couple breaths. Serenity now, serenity now. There you gotta tie it off. Here we are. So we got our big balloon here. Yep. Let's double check this. Uh, it's around like 22 inches, something like that. It's a big balloon. So like we got our candle here, right? Okay. Let's light that candle. Okay. So we saw the small balloon pop with this flame. Yeah. Do we have the, I don't know, there might be, oh! <laughs> okay, so that popped. Okay, it popped. But now we need something else. We need the water. 
Yeah, because the blue. waters don't, it doesn't pop water. Okay. I'm worried about this one, guys. Need, need some safety. Wait. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be heavy. Do you think you can lift it? We're gonna take the try. <sighs> yeah, I can lift it. Oh my God. Yeah, I've been working out. It's not even like a balloon, it's like a bean bag. It's a water balloon. We need to get a catapult. We're building a catapult next time. I'm so in for that. You might <laughs> I thought you were working out. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I'll hold it. Okay, you hold okay, it. Okay, and we'll have you do the candle. I can do the candle. Okay, but candle. So we saw that it didn't actually burst the, the small balloon. No, it didn't. Right. We need something bigger. So we need something bigger? Hey. Of Look course. what I got. But this means... Since I have to hold the balloon, you're in charge of the blowtorch. Yes! Finally, something <gasps> fun to do. I've had all the hard work today. I can do the blowtorch. Remember when she said she was going to get me back? Uh-oh. Yeah, I think you're going to have to hold this one. All right, so I'll pick it up. So what we did with that candle in the first balloon, the water absorbed the heat from the flame, the heat transfer, and it didn't pop. Didn't pop. So we think maybe with our 24-inch balloon completely full of water and the power of a blowtorch, blowtorch. Then it's not gonna pop. We'll find out. Tim, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. All right, we gotta switch spots. Okay, let's switch spots. So I just press this fun little button right here. here. <laughs> no, Is this no. your first time with the blue torch? Maybe. Oh, geez. What did I sign up for here? All right. It's heavy. Like, it is genuinely heavy. I'm gonna step yeah. back just in case you're gonna pop it right <laughs> there and then. It's possible. Okay. So, <laughs> it looks like flubber. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna have to figure out a way to hold this up. I think you gotta hold it like a baby. Hold it like a baby. You know, like you're gonna cradle it. Yeah. It's like flubber. <laughs> it literally looks like flubber. Okay. okay. Wait, how am I not gonna? I'm terrified. All right. Okay. Well. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it popped! It didn't need any heat. We're gonna try that again. I'm making him blow this one up because we popped the last one. So you're telling me it shouldn't pop. It should not because pop. Because it has water. Do you trust me? Sure. So we're going to hold it over her head. I feel like I just got myself in a bad situation. So here we go. But it's not going to pop because we just... It... Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Science, don't fail me now. I'm just going to... This? All right. Oh, shoot. Let me take off my shoes. Okay. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, So the water took on some of the heat. Right. It started sprinkling at first. Sprinkling. There were a bunch of tiny little holes. Yeah. First. So the water was shooting out and then it just went That's pop. how I knew how to dodge. <laughs> so she got a little warning of what was coming. <laughs> so obviously the water was taking on some of the heat. Yeah. Right? I think if we were able to fill up and hold that first blue balloon completely, I don't think it would have popped. Because that lasted, what, five, seven, ten seconds? About like a century. Like a century? Well, it lasted a lot longer than the, the air balloon. Totally. That's for sure. Yeah. So we talked about heat transfer today, knowing that balloons with air in them don't absorb the heat very well. You need the water in the balloon to actually absorb that heat, and then it won't pop until it absorbs so much heat that it does pop and then goes all over Tatum, just yeah. like the silly string. No! We realized oh, it's not working. that he deserves to be punished and not me! What? What's going on here? We got faulty silly string. You know what? There will be payback in the next episode. You're kidding me! You're actually kidding! <laughs> These aren't working. No, I'm not good at those either. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that little balloon experiment, and now we're on to trivia. So the answer to last week's question of how old is the sun is C, 4.5 billion years old. The sun is about halfway through its life as a star, so it's got about 4.5 billion years left. Don't worry, it's a really long time. Now, this week's trivia question is, what is the planet with the most moons? Is it A, Earth, B, Mars, 
C, Jupiter, or D, Saturn? Tune in next week to get your answer. Always be curious.